a $2,000 fourth stimulus check for Social Security, including retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, SSI, VA, RRB, low income, and no income. That's exactly what we're going to focus on in this video, so let's get into it. But hey everybody, welcome, and thank you so much for joining me. If you're new or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to stimulate the subscribe button right down below the video. Thank you, I truly appreciate your support, and this is a very important time to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so I can keep you updated with everything going on and continue to be your daily advocate going forward. Thank you, I truly appreciate you, and let's talk through this. So we are entering into a very critical phase. In fact, you could call it the home stretch. So this is a very important time that we're entering into literally in a matter of days. The reason I say that is because Congress is going to be returning back into session after their vacation literally in just a few days from now. When they return back, they're going to start writing the legislation for the bills coming up in these next two packages. Yes, so they're not only going to be writing the legislation, but they're also going to start negotiating out all of the details of everything that's going to be included into these next two packages. The American Jobs Plan, which is the one that has that bipartisan package or the bipartisan proposal, and then the infamous American Families Plan. And that is the one that will likely house the fourth stimulus check in the amount of $2,000. Now, why do I say that this is such a critical time? The reason for it is we need to keep the pressure on these people right now because we've been building up all of this momentum on a fourth stimulus check and this $2,000 payment focused on low income individuals, including everybody that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, like social security, retirement, disability, SSDI, survivors, SSI, VA, RRB, low income and no income. We've been building all of this momentum for a couple months now for this time, for these next couple weeks is going to be absolutely 100% critical because we need to keep the pressure on these people because here's why. Like I said, they're writing the legislation for this. If we keep this in the forefront of their mind, if we continue to hammer down, we continue to remind them every single day, hey guys, we need a focused fourth stimulus check focused on these low income individuals. The likelihood of them adding it is incredibly high versus if we just kind of walk away and say, hey, we'll come back in a month and see what happens and what they have in the bill. If we do that, we might as well just kiss the idea of a fourth stimulus check goodbye, right? No, we're not doing that. We are not giving up on this. We need to continue to keep this pressure on. So I'm asking all of you, Huddle with me, please, as a team. Let's huddle together on this and we need to keep this pressure on. We need to continue to remind everybody that a fourth stimulus check is incredibly critical during this time right now. Like I said, focused on low income. Here's the thing. As I've said in other videos, I will continue to come back every single day and make these fourth stimulus check update videos and everything else going on. And it's not so much to like get attention from everybody here on the channel, but more necessarily to get attention from everybody else that may be out there watching this and just to continue to get attention on a fourth stimulus check, right? So I'm asking all of you, continue to show your support for this because the more support that we have on all of these videos and this content, the greater likelihood we have of a fourth stimulus check actually happening. Like I said, we literally have just a couple weeks if it goes by a couple weeks and we don't get it, well, you know, that's gonna be a really bad situation. But the thing is, these next few weeks, basically from this next coming Monday through early August is the time frame we have until they leave once again on their summer vacation. And they're not gonna be gone for just two weeks. No, they're gonna be gone for several weeks, like a very long time, like several, several weeks. They're gonna be gone until they return back in mid-September. Well, at that point, if we don't have something signed, sealed, and we don't have a deal on something by then, it's gonna be really hard to kind of come back from that. You know what I mean? So it is very, very critical that we continue to hammer down on this. So I continue to make these videos. I continue to reach out over on Twitter. I'm over there every single day, multiple times a day, reminding these people, hey, we need a fourth stimulus check that is focused on low income. And here's the thing. 
I know that everybody continues to remind me that we need a raise to benefits like Social Security, SSDI, SSI, VA. I know that. We also need monthly payments or UBI, one of the two. I get that as well. But here's the thing, and here's kind of my philosophy behind it. Let's just strictly focus on a fourth stimulus check. I get it. We want to go for all that other stuff as well. I truly agree. It would be nice to get all of those other benefits as well. But here's the thing. Let's make it as easy as we possibly can for them to approve a fourth stimulus check. How can we do that? Well, by making it as simple as possible, let's just say, hey guys, a fourth stimulus check. Let's just focus on a one-time $2,000 fourth stimulus check focused on those individuals earning under $40,000 of annual income, regardless of where the income comes from, even if it's from all of these federal benefits that I continue to mention, like Social Security, right? You know the list. I've gone through it a few times now in this video, but you know who I'm talking about. So it's so important just to make it as easy as possible for them to write the legislation. Literally, it could be one paragraph saying a fourth stimulus check focused on low income individuals with an annual income under $40,000 would be issued immediately, including social security, SSDI, SSI, VA, RRB, low income, no income, everything like that. And then of course, including those people who are adult dependents and excluding um, child support from garnishing payments. Boom, done. That's basically all that they would need to write into the language of the legislation and they've got it. Seriously, that is so easy. If they want, I'd be happy to write it for them. I'd be happy to write it for them and send it on over. All they need to do is cut and paste and they can add it right into the bill. And hey, they don't even have to pay me for it. I'll do it for free. Not a problem. I'd be happy to do that for them. I'd be happy to do it for them and I'd be happy to do it for all of you. So it is so, so important that we continue to just really get attention on this. So I'm asking all of you, We've been, I mean, we've literally been working on this for a couple months now. So I'm asking all of you, we're literally down to the home stretch on this. Let's all stick together through this. Please share this video with your friends, family, social media. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Leave a comment down below if you'd like me to, if you want me to focus on anything else, if you'd like me to uh, answer any of your questions, anything like that. But continue to do everything we can to get attention onto this topic. We need to keep this in the forefront of their mind. It would be so easy for us to just walk away from this topic and say, okay, you know, let's just, uh, let's just wing it. Let's just see what they decide on their own. And, uh, you know, they're going to negotiate it out and let's just have faith that they're going to work in the best interest of the people. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, we can't do that. They've already proven it to us way too many times that, uh, they have all their other special interests that they want to focus on. No, we cannot do that. We cannot let this go. We've worked way too hard on this. We've built way too much momentum over the last few months to just walk away from this idea. And that's not really how I operate. Not only that, it is not only me. There are multiple other people here on YouTube making videos like this, and all of us are sticking together with this. We're all basically coming from the same point, which is we got to keep the pressure on this. It is so incredibly important because we're coming down to literally the last few weeks of this before they leave. And then when they come back, who knows what? They'll probably have short-term memory loss or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? And by the way, I'm not laughing at that. I'm just saying, by the time that they come back, if they don't have something done by then, it'll be like, oh, wait, stimulus checks? W what are you guys talking about? You know what I mean? It'd be so easy for them to just forget about it. And then when they come back, just be like, hmm, yeah, what are you guys talking about? No, 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 we're going to do our own thing. No, we cannot let them get away with this. We need to keep them um, reminded that a fourth stimulus check is incredibly, incredibly critical right now. So I just wanted to let you know, I am here for you and we will continue to push on with this for the next couple weeks here and see what we get hammered out. But these next few weeks as they come back and they start negotiating their way through all of the different proposals and everything else that they want to include into the American Families Plan, it is going to be so important that we continue to remind them to add the fourth stimulus check. It is so simple. Add, I mean, literally write a paragraph of text, add it in there and you've got it. That's all they need to do. It's not even gonna cost that much money, really. I and mean, we've looked at the numbers. We've gone through the numbers in previous videos 
and it is honestly not even that much. A couple hundred billion dollars to allocate toward a fourth stimulus check, or as some people like to call it, they've been saying this lately too, survival checks. Oh man, we should just drop the stimulus check name and just call them survival checks. I mean, how about that, right? I mean, how are you gonna deny somebody $2,000 to survive? You can't deny that one, right? That's probably why they call it survival checks. Yeah, maybe we'll just start doing that, calling them survival checks. I mean, that's pretty powerful right there. You can't deny somebody survival, can you? I mean, I certainly wouldn't do that. I mean, that's that sounds pretty serious right there. If it's $2,000 to survive, which unfortunately in some cases, it's probably coming down to that, right? And some people who are out there struggling right now, yeah, unfortunately, we're coming down to survival, right? Yes, this is so important. So anyway, please, thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. Please remember that I'm here to help you. I am here to act as your advocate. I'm here to keep you updated. And I'm here to do whatever I possibly can to work with you and to keep reminding all of these people in Congress that all of my friends here, everybody that I advocate for, all of you right here on this channel need additional stimulus, right? And we need to make it very clear to them too. It's not the higher income people who need it. You know, maybe that's one of the biggest um, deterrents of them adding a fourth stimulus check is maybe they look at it and think, hey, you know, higher income people don't really need it. Fine. <laughs> We're not asking for higher income people to get it. We're asking for a very focused fourth stimulus check for those people earning under $40,000, regardless of how they get their income, whether it's from fixed benefits or maybe they earn income at a job. We don't really care. Anybody that has anything of income under $40,000, issue them $2,000 immediately, right? Make it as easy as possible. Anyway, Thank you again, everybody. I truly appreciate it. I just want to continue to get the word out on all this. Please share this video with your friends, family, social media, subscribe to the channel, ask them to subscribe to the channel, and let's get this thing out. Let's get a movement, right? Let's get some attention. That's all we need to do is attention. Attention, right? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I know, I'm annoying, right? Super annoying, but whatever. You gotta keep, you gotta get annoying. I'm willing to be annoying on your behalf to get you some money. Seriously, I'm willing to sacrifice myself, my reputation, and <laughs> be incredibly annoying for you to get you more money, right? I want to do that for you. So anyway, have a good night. Have a nice day. Have a nice afternoon. Have a good morning, whatever it happens to be, wherever you are located in the country or the world when you're watching this. And uh, enjoy, and I'll continue to be myself annoying. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, just kidding. Uh, thanks again, everybody. You're awesome. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button, share the videos, go back and check out some of my other videos right here on the channel, and I will continue to be here for you every single day. Thanks again. You're awesome, and I'll see you in the, in the next video.